Look, I think that uh, what we've seen really is uh, a decision-making process fraught with all sorts of deep concerns that uh, will affect South Africa for some time, notwithstanding the reappointment of a solid and respected minister like Pravin Gordon. Uh, much of the damage uh, in terms of the way the initial uh, decision to fire Neni was conducted, that damage has been done. And it'll take some time, even with a respected uh, minister now in place, to rectify that damage. The bottom line, though, and I think the real issue here is that politically, Jacob Zuma has weakened his own position as president of South Africa. Uh, and I think we came perilously close over the weekend to what I would call a palace coup, a rebellion from some of the top uh, members, of perhaps of his own cabinet and others who have uh, vested interests uh, in the Zuma administration to reading President Zuma the Riot Act. And for that matter, President Zuma did blink when he was told to do so. Do we know, do we know that the uh, issues, that the events that happened are as a result of uh, intervention from ANC, from senior ANC people? I think that the ANC uh, themselves uh, reacted quite substantially to what had happened. Um, the ANC is not a cohesive body, and despite the fact that President Zuma would like to unilaterally make decisions, clearly on this particular issue, the poor timing of, the, of this decision, the economic fallout that it has caused amidst broader economic turmoil for South Africa, a ratings agency downgrade, high levels of government debt, the context in which the axing of Nene took place was enough to push many ANC uh, senior bigwigs uh, into a camp that said, look, we can't take this, something's got to be done. And I think it's clear that it wasn't just public pressure, it wasn't just as the uh, presidency spun it overnight that the president listened to what the South African public was saying. I would argue that uh, the dramatic uh, review of the Van Rooyen appointment was largely as a result of intervention from uh, senior cabinet ministers and also from captains of industry within South Africa, from the broader business community, again, with strong links to the ANC and to the broader economy of the country. Pravin Gordon himself had a five-year reign uh, as Minister of Finance. Um, he performed admirably during that five-year reign. Uh, and I think on that basis, um, he has a certain degree of experience and he has what I call political gravitas. And that political gravitas will allow him to retain a degree of independence for the Treasury, independence away from um, the long arms that many others want to reach into that Treasury and take spend for themselves. And on that basis, I think markets have reacted relatively favorably to uh, the Gordon appointment. The damage that was done last week has been uh, substantial. Uh, what we have seen is uh, hundreds of millions of rands wiped off the value of South Africa's major banks, 20% uh, devaluation in the equity price of the Ned Banks and Standard Banks and RMBs of this world. Uh, we've seen, of course, uh, the interest rate on South African debt increase also over the course of the last uh, few days. And the devaluation of the RAND probably adds about a one percentage point alone just to the potential for an increased inflation rate uh, next year. So uh, serious damage has been done as a result of the presidency uh, not taking into account the role of the market and the effects and judgment that the markets would have on our economy as a result of this announcement.